Greetings 2 0 PGS. This is a video on the Raspberry Pi Pico. It's just come out. Um, I hand soldered on the uh, header pins that I got. Now, <clears throat> normally the Raspberry Pi header pins um, face up to allow for hats to go on top. So, there's a Raspberry Pi 4B with header pins facing up. Those are pre soldered header pins on that. On this one now I soldered them myself. Now I soldered them facing down because I assumed the Pied Pico would go into a breadboard and after doing so, I mean I didn't think too much about it, it just made logical sense, but after doing so I then realised, oh what about hats? But luckily the Pied Pico is supposed to have the header pins facing down so the hat works fine. So I've got this unicorn hat here um, and it's a little bit of trouble to get the, the Pied Pico going at first, uh, but I kind of figured it out. So what you want to do um, to first get uh, this unicorn hat working a bit is hold down that boost pin and insert power while holding that boost pin in. So power being this uh, micro USB cable. So you're holding down that boost pin, you put power in, and you keep holding that boost pin until this shows up um, as like a USB drive in your uh, in your operating system. Then what you want to do is you want to download this Pimeroni Pico UF2 file and drop that on there. Um, it appear like a memory stick, so you just download that and drag and drop it to the um, to the, the folder that comes up when the Pi is mounted. Um, so it's like copying to a USB stick. Then once this is copied to the the, the USB stick sort of um, file system this Pico presents to your operating system, it will disconnect by itself and reboot, which is fine. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to connect to it over serial. Now I tried uh, using standard serial um, programs, but I couldn't seem to figure out um, what board rate it's supposed to be, and I've tried 9600 and such, but there's no clear documentation really what it's supposed to be that I could find. So I just used what all the documentation seems to be based on at the moment, which is this um, Fonny um, IDE. And I've taken an example, um, a first half of an example, that came from the, um, that came with the, I think it's, what's the website here? Pi Maroney website. Um, for this half, the first half here is part of the example, and I then modify the second half to add in some extra functions I wanted to add. Um, what you need to do in this software to get Fonny installed on um, sort of um, any Debian based system I recommend using pip3. I think I did pip3 install because you'll get a newer version using pip. It's either pip or pip3. Um, I forget which I used but use pip. Um, there are some instructions on how to get Fonny on Fonny's website um, for pip. So use pip to install it rather than grabbing it from uh, the package repos of your distro because that will be an old version you need the bleeding edge version and pip is always rapidly updated so you then need to set the interpreter in the settings to micro python raspberry pi um, this won't be available um, if you're using an older version of this uh, ide so yeah relatively lightweight ide and it then connects fine and it all seems to work um, so then you can it'll connect over um, the serial connection and you can put your Python in here and when you click run it will actually save it um, to the Pico um, when it's in this sort of second mode. There's two modes of this Pico. The first is when you um, hold down that button there the boot cell, boot select probably. So when you hold down boot select and plug it in it acts like a flash drive um, but if you just plug it in without holding that in, it acts like a serial, uh, it exposes a serial um, uh, connection. So you can connect to a um, standard TTY sort of serial, um, or COM port serial for Windows. So, with my code on here now, when I press A, I got it, um, give me a random new sequence, I can hold it down and it will keep generating random Pixel, uh, random colors for each uh, pixel. 
Press it once, just do a quick trigger. B, I've got to turn it all red. X, I've got to turn it green. And Y, I've got to turn it blue. So it took a bit to get it going. Um, and now it's going. So that's quite cool. And that's using MicroPython. Um, the MicroPython is interpreted on this thing. It seems to be easier to set up with MicroPython because um, you don't have to compile it as such, um, it will just be interpreted by it. So there's a few less steps in getting your code on here. Whereas if you're trying to do C, you'll need to compile it first, um, which requires a few extra build tools. And over here is a Py4B I've got running with a um, WaveShare NeoPixel hat. Um, and the interesting thing about this is it took me a bit to get it going um, on the Pi 4 and I've got a sort of detailed um, GitHub issue on that of how I got it going um, so you just have to make a few changes um, oh I did it this time of writing you may not need to do these changes on a more recent version of the um, RPI underscore WS281X uh, library um, but it, at the time of writing, when I was using a Pacific version of the of the uh, Pacific head of that branch, I needed to make some changes to get it working. Um, but I got it working in the end. Um, so that's kind of two Raspberry Pi projects I've got done today. Um, interesting, the Pico comes in a comes in one of these um, pick and place machine uh, tape reels, which is quite interesting. And at the cost of three quid, it's um, it's rather useful. Cheaper than Arduino Nano, and I think there's an Arduino. Um, Arduino are going to support this board in their IDE, which will be interesting. So that might handle all the C compilation um, and all that using Arduino's build tools. Um, and uh, ironically, the LED hat, um, this unicorn hat, costs more than the Pi itself, which is quite funny. Which isn't the case for this Pi Four. The Pi Four costs a lot more than the, the LED hat here. Um, if I can restart it, yeah. when I first plug it in, it gives me uh, the rainbow that's that's built into their demo. So this is that rainbow effect there is part of their demo. But any other functions I've added in myself, like this one here, or I press A. So yeah. Right. Thanks for watching.